Hello everybody, it's your boy Killer Frog, and it's been a while since I've made an actual video. Um, I've been doing a lot of live streams pretty much almost every single day um, of Battle for Bikini Bottom, and I've been having a lot of fun with the game, and I've beaten the game multiple times now. Um, I've been recently trying to complete the game 100% on every single system, which was a lot of fun. Uh, now I just have to do it on Xbox and then I'll be done. But um, I just wanted to have a video dedicated to talking about all the bosses in the game and the differences between this game and the original. If you liked the video, give it a like if you like, and if you're new, give it a civity sub. Um, this should be a pretty awesome, amazing video. <laughs> So we're going to start off with King Jellyfish. Um, one of the differences, like it's not a big difference, but like looking at his crown from the original and this one, they made it like a little more thin and uh, more brighter. Um, that's pretty much like everything in the remake is everything's a lot more brighter and more colorful, uh, a lot of saturation, I guess. One of the other things that they completely changed that's not a huge deal that I still think is kind of cool though is that you actually have to get the King Jellyfish Jelly from the shower instead of him just giving it to you and it's automatically in your inventory or whatever. But, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal, but I still think it's kind of cool that you have to get it yourself instead of the game just automatically having you have it. Now we're going to be talking about Sandy, and her boss is so amazing. Like, I really love it in the remake. It's ten times better than it was in than the original. Um... Like, the red mouth and everything looks so, like, creepy to me, and I like that about her. Because in the original, it was just, there was really nothing there. Um, but, and, it, like, they also made her arms, like, kind of, like, tubes instead of what she had before, which were just, like, plain, like, it was just all one big metal thing. There wasn't really anything there. Um, but I don't know, I like that they added that. That's definitely a really awesome touch. Once again, it makes the boss feel a lot more creepier than the original, and I think that's a good thing. The fire coming from her tail is so cool. Like, I'm, I really love that idea, because way back when they showed it off, I couldn't see any fire really coming out of the tail, because we didn't get to see that much footage of uh, her boss fight. But now that it's been out and we've, getting, like, we've gotten to play the game and everything like that, you know, um, I've seen it multiple times now, and it makes the boss fight seem a lot more cooler. And, um, all the people with the little lights and, like, all the stuff that they have in the background is so cool. It makes it feel a lot more... It makes me feel like I'm in an idol, like a concert. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just funny to me, because, I don't know, the little lights and all of them just, like, being in the back, shaking the lights around and stuff like that. And it makes it uh, a very, very epic boss fight. So looking at Prawn um, from the original and this remake, um, they made him a lot more blue, and he doesn't have, like, I, at least I don't see it, he doesn't have any blue in his eyes like he did in the original. His eyes were, like, greenish blue, I can't really tell, but that's something that they changed up. Prawn is just a mini-boss fight. He's not, like, that big of a deal, but I don't know why. I think out of all the mini-boss little battles, he's my favorite. I wish there was more of this character, like if there's ever a battle for Bikini Bottom 2, I've talked about this like in all my live streams and people said they want to see it, but I know there has to be people that probably disagree with me on that, but I don't know, if they ever made a battle for Bikini Bottom 2, I think they should really bring him back and maybe have him have a bigger role. Now we're on to Patrick, one of my favorite boss battles. Um, in the remake, uh, at first I wasn't sure how I felt about his design, there's a lot of new things that they added. In the original, his pants were like black and I think they had a skull on them. Um, but in this version, it's just his normal pants. Which makes sense, because, you know, it's just supposed to be robot versions of them and they're supposed to look like them. But in the original, I did like the design with the skull and the black pants. It just made him seem more... cool, I guess? I don't know. He does have skulls. I didn't notice that, like, playing the game. But he does have skulls like he did in the original, but... His pants are just green this time instead of black, but I feel like the black didn't make it look kind of cool. Maybe it's just because I'm an emo, I have no idea. <laughs> so the thing I love most about this boss fight is a lot of the soundtrack has got remade, which I, I can hear it in some things. It just sounds a little better quality and stuff, but there's not much of a difference. But with this boss fight, they changed so many things and 
I, I usually nerd out every time I go in this boss fight in my live streams, but I don't know if anybody can really hear it because the music is so low down and I'm usually louder than the music or like the whole game in general. But um, right now I'm just going to play some of the clips from the remake and uh, the original and show you the differences between both of them. So I hope you guys like it. A lot of people always ask me what my favorite level in Battle for Bikini Bottom is and it's definitely the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard because I really love the look of the moon like it it just has such a spooky like look to it and I don't know I think they did a really really good job in this remake um, with the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. I know we're talking about bosses but like I legit am so happy with how everything looks and in the original I actually did not like the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. I actually didn't like it at all. But this whole remake made me like everything to do with it just because the look of it is amazing and it makes me actually feel like I'm in a spooky place. So one of the things that they changed was uh, when he shoots fire out his nose instead of it just going in one direction it like shoots out multiple ways which I think is you know it adds to the challenge not by much considering his boss fight is extremely easy I don't know anyone that's ever done bad against him but um, I'm glad that they tried making it a little more challenging once again if they ever did have a battle for bikini bottom 2 I'd like to see him maybe come back as a boss or something but uh, I just kind of wish this boss fight could have been longer in the remake like maybe uh, like the whole platform that you're standing on breaks and you have to go somewhere else and keep continuing to fight him and maybe he has a different attack pattern or like just a different attack overall but they wanted to keep this game as close to the original as possible which I respect that completely considering I love and cherish this game I've been playing it for years and it's pretty much my whole life. So one of the boss fights that I wasn't sure if I would like and I was kind of a little nervous about, like I, I didn't like his design all that much, but he looks super creepy and he has like, he looks like he has no soul, everything's just dead in there. I mean, he is a robot after all. So that was the one thing that made me realize, like I, I kind of do like his design. Like it's, it's grew on me a lot more than it did from when I first seen the trailer. Um, Versing him multiple times now. I I think they did a really good job. Um, the original just looked like normal eyeballs. Um, it was like white. But in this remake, it's really, really dark in there. And it makes him look more creepy, which I do like. Once again, I know a lot of people were like, but that's kind of the purpose. It's supposed to look creepy, like a robot, like a, you know, just pretty much as I said, creepy and stuff. Um, but I, I do like his redesign. I really do think I I take everything back that I said about that. Looking at Robot Plankton, he looks a lot more different than he did in the original. His eye in the original was like greenish. I can't really see, but it looks green, green kind of. And uh, in the remake, it's like orange and red. <laughs> and uh, the thing that he's standing on... Uh, is it was purple in the original and in the remake it's kind of like red kind of like dark dark pink I would say and he's a lot more green instead of like pale green well let me know in the comments what your favorite boss fight is once again mine is Patrick and in the future if this game does actually do good which it pretty much has uh, if there should be a battle for Bikini Bottom 2 and what you would like to see in it. Personally, I would really like to see like Kevin the Sea Cucumber and characters like that, but that's just me. If you guys like the video, give it a like if you like, and if you're new, give it a sippity sub. Um, I can't believe how close we are to a thousand subscribers. It's unbelievable. Ever since I've been doing all these live streams, my channel has been growing like crazy. 
Um, in the making of this video, I'm at 961 subscribers. I do appreciate you guys so much for being here. Um, and to the people that join my live streams, a lot of you guys will stay in there for pretty much hours just watching me and I can't believe you guys are willing to, you know, watch me. Soon I'll be making a video talking about all the differences between the whole game overall, not just boss fights. Um, I'm not sure when that will come out, but hopefully soon. Uh, until then, I will see you guys.